Las boobies. <risa> Ah, no mames. ¿Qué? Pasó algo. ¿Qué pasó algo? A ver, ven. No mames, pasó algo, te lo juro que pasó algo, eh. ¡Mueve, mueve! ¡Vete a la verga! No mames. This is why you always lock your doors. Oh my god, Tiana, go! Go! Oh my god, oh my god! A woman by the name Amber and her friend Tiana were driving by a McDonald's in Melbourne, Australia, when suddenly her friend Tiana locks the car doors, only moments after this happens. Hi! Uh, oh my god, Tiana, go! Go! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Tiana! It's okay, honey. Tiana! A pale woman with black eyes tries breaking into her car, but as they drive off, she begins to run after them. Oh my god, see how they go! Go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Amber explains that residents in the Melbourne area report seeing this zombie-like lady trying to break into neighboring houses. If Tiana didn't extensively lock the car doors even for just a second late, this woman would have gotten in. Can you raise that meter, please? That meter right in front of you, can you touch that, please? Can you spike that up? Oh. Can you keep making it go off, please? Thank you. How high can you raise it? Raise it as high as you can. Use as much energy as you can to make that go off. Thank you. Good job. They're building up their energy there. Yeah, literally. Nice job. Be sure to pay close attention to the right side of her hair, or you'll miss it. Hey, Moni. We're going to take you a picture, okay? Ready? Ready? Uh huh. Yeah, Manny. Hmm? Okay, we're done. Just that? No, I'm just kidding. No, we need to go take the picture again. Guys, I just came in to make dinner, and look what I found. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a boy this time. Oh my god. Why would you look at that? Why would anyone have this in their house? Honestly, it's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, it has another bell. Oh my god. Guys, guess who I am. <laughs> Inside a storage facility, a man owns a storage unit full of old items. The whole facility is known to be a little creepy with rumors going around about the place being haunted. But the items within the storage unit make it all the worse. One of these strange items is a toy monkey that is supposed to be worth a lot of money. Ever since he collected this doll, banging sounds can be heard coming from the storage unit, as well as things moving places on their own. It got to the point where his fellow colleagues and employees of the facility were making noise complaints and accusing the man of living in the storage unit. In order to prove otherwise, he sets up a camera inside to show that it's not him. And this is what he captures.
The toy just up and suddenly moves on its own, completely scaring all the employees, as they couldn't believe their eyes. The owner of the unit is also convinced that this toy monkey is responsible for the other noises that have been heard in the facility, and he didn't hesitate in putting the doll up for sale, hoping someone will quickly take it off his hands. Here are some other clips she's captured, all of which further prove the fact that her home is haunted. The scariest videos I've seen personally, are those in which a ghost or some other entity is peeping its head through a doorway or outside a window. On December 31st of 2022, three policemen were dispatched to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor who reported that loud, strange noises were coming from inside. The neighbor stated that they heard deep, guttural noises and piercing screeches that were unlike anything they'd ever heard. When the police arrived, they were deeply disturbed by what they found. Now the video itself was taken by a paramedic who was immediately called to the scene. As it turns out, the police requested immediate medical care as they were unprepared to deal with the situation at hand. They had no idea that the house they were in once belonged to a family of cannibals who enjoyed butchering human flesh and making exotic dishes that consisted of human remains. This cannibalistic family has since passed away, but their house still remains in its shabby condition in a small town located in Greater Poland. On the night of New Year's Eve in 2022, a 20-year-old woman named Kamilka had been inside the house with a couple of friends. They were all playing with a Ouija board with the intent of conjuring the spirits of the cannibalistic family and the victims they consumed. This was a bad idea, as all of a sudden, Kamilka began acting erratically and extremely feral before barricading herself inside a room. Something had gone terribly wrong. According to her friends, Kamilka had seemingly become possessed. When the police came, they were left highly unnerved by what they saw. This is what was caught. Terrified by Kamilka's strange behavior, the police are unable to go inside and save her. So, as a final attempt to get her out, they head outside and place a ladder against the side of the room where she hides. This, however, did not go as expected. Oh, 
Vamos tu camica. Camica, tu tu este viza. Tu nie czołgaj się. Camica. The police tell Kamilka that her daughter Victoria is with them as an attempt to lure her out of the room, but this didn't seem to work given that she still stayed inside. Unfortunately, not much else is caught on camera as the video ends abruptly, but according to the paramedic who shot the video, Kamilka was eventually taken to the hospital. Strangely enough, it was upon arriving at the hospital that she started acting normal again. After being thoroughly examined by a psychiatrist, Kamilka showed no signs of any psychiatric disorders. Her blood was also checked for any intoxicating substances that could explain her strange behavior, but no traces of any drugs were found in her system. To this day, Kamilka's family nor her friends could explain what happened inside that house. All that is known is that her family wishes to never see their daughter ever like this again. Whether Kamilka was possessed or if she had a temporary psychosis remains a mystery. This next clip seems to have been taken at an apartment complex. Regardless of where it was taken, the place is pretty spooky, as it looks very similar to the back rooms. The creepiest part about this, though, is that this place actually exists, unlike the back rooms. If given the chance, would you roam the halls of this place in the middle of the night? 